Hello everyone, Scoops here. Uh, brand new series. This is Richard and Alice. Uh, this game is developed by Owl. Oh crap, Owl Cave, I believe it's called. Um, it just came out on sale for Steam. I think it's been out for a while now, but it just came out on Steam and it looked really cool, so I wanted to give it a go. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, it's snowing again. Oh man. What's wrong with that, son? The last lot's barely melted yet. I'm fed up with the snow. Every time it's the same. It's cold, it's wet, and everything comes to a standstill. Trust me, man, I'm from Canada. I know what you mean. It just makes me feel miserable, Dad. Rich, listen to me. Remember what I always said where I always used to say? Aw, oh, Dad, not now. Haha, <laughs> alright, but you know. Dad, come on. Hmm. What's really the problem, son? You used to love the snow. I was a kid back then. I guess I've just grown up. It doesn't feel magical anymore. Psh, what nonsense. It feels, it still feels magical to me, and I'm twice your age. Three times, Dad. Maybe even four. Ha, check. Ah, ha, the cheek. <laughs> you don't want to grow up too quickly, son, trust me. One day a time will come when you have no choice but to grow up, and you'll miss days like this. The magic, the snow. Snowmen, go enjoy it, I say. Dad, yep. You can be all right. you can be a right sap sometimes. Ha, perhaps. But okay. The snow is great fun. I cannot wait to build a snowman. Happy now? Very. And I don't and don't think I can't see that smirk on your face too, mister. Now go on, give your friends a call. Go out and play. It's snowing. Hope you're enjoying the new microphone too. Haha, -ha, this is the first time I recorded. Oh my goodness, what just happened? Things got bad. <laughs> Owl Cave. It was Owl Cave. Good. Game by Lewis Denby and Ashton Rays. Deep in the rainforest of Honduras lives this fascinating creature. It is a brown throated sloth, the most widespread and common of the three toed sloths in the area. Oh, I'm watching TV. It is a brown throated sloth. Oh, I already read that. The, th the sloth sleeps for an incredible 18 hours per day and is active only a few seconds burst. It's not active at all anymore. Although they can walk along the ground and even swim, they spend most of their lives in the high branches of trees, descending once every night, every eight days or so to defecate in the soil. <laughs> it's all they ever show on here, reruns of ancient nature documentaries. It's a very different world on the outside now. Oh well, we're not here to be entertained. Adult animals are solitary, except when raising young. They do not deal well with company. Males have been observed to fight one another using their four claws. Ooh, who is that? Huh? Was that someone in the cell opposite? It's been empty for, well, as long as I've been here. Hello? Hello? Sigh. Richard and Alice, here we go. Hi there. It's been a while since I've seen another face. How are you? I mean, not great, I assume, since you've just... I'm Richard, anyway. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello? Hi. I said I'm Richard... I heard what you said. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... I mean, I thought I'd say hello. I know I wanted some company when I first got here, but... Do you want to be left alone? No, sorry, it's okay. Well, like I said, I'm Richard, and you are... Alice. Alice! Pleased to meet you, Alice. Um, quite the conversationalist, huh? Sorry, it's been a long time since I've spoken to anyone, really. I'll let you get settled any... No, honestly, it's fine. Sorry, I guess I'm just a bit flustered. That's understandable. <laughs> so what do you want to talk about? I'm not sure. What's the protocol for meeting new people in prison? I'm not used to there being anyone in that cell. The ceiling had collapsed. They only got around to fixing it recently. I'm a prison? What did I do? Am I like a bad person? Should we get to know each other? Uh, what? So what are you in for? Murder! Murder! Uh, are you, uh, serious? Yeah. Well, that's what they say. And did you do it? If I told you yes, would you be scared of me? I, I'm not. Relax. There's two sets of bars between us. 
Put it this way, I've learned some things recently. Oh, yeah, about moral relativity, I suppose you'd call it. How do you mean? Well, since the snow started, things have changed, right? Definitely, there's no denying that. They didn't predict it soon enough. No one was able to bring it under control. It took over, dominated our lives. It changed people, but only because people were forced to adapt. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is, I used to think killing was wrong, under all circumstances, but now? Now I'm not so sure what to think anymore. So, what do you want to know about me? <laughs> Let's try to turn around. Well, I guess if you're cool with killing people, eh, I mean, what about me, you know? Well, sure, whatever. Well, I'm Richard, as you know, and, uh, oh, gosh, what do you want to know? Whatever. I don't think she wants to know anything, man. You should stop pushing yourself on her. Right, where to start? Where to start? Well, I was in the military. Actually, that's why I'm in here. I broke some rules, shall we say. I mean, don't get me wrong. I stand by what I did. Those men were petrified. They were heading for certain death. I couldn't bring myself to be, well, anyway. You've been here a while, then? Organized warfare is a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. All the violence that the weather brought with it. More needless wars. These days it's just chaos, or so I hear. I just don't believe it needed to happen. Sure, no one dealt with the weather well, I understand that. And I understand that deaths were inevitable, but so much fighting? I don't know. I think being a parent has settled my views on that. Um, a parent too? I've got a kid and I'm in jail? Ugh, it's not starting off well. Um, sorry, sorry, I, I just, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry, go on. Well, it was it, really. I don't know. I'd do anything to pr protect my daughter. Have you got kids? Little boy. Barney? That's a nice name. Eh. Uh, I bet you miss him. Yeah, you do. It's hard to miss him. He's a big, giant, purple dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, I do. Getting used to being away from your family is the hardest part. I keep a photo of mine by my bed. Stare at it every night until I fall asleep. Can I see? Sure, uh, I'll find a way of getting across to you. Bear with me. Ooh, I saved. Alright, so it's next to my bed. I don't, I don't feel like reading it now. Family photograph. My gorgeous family. I'll take this. Uh, can I get it away somehow? Wardrobe? Let's see. Clean clothes, dirty clothes. I should check these trouser pockets, actually, in case something unwanted goes through the wash. Well, what do you know? It's my computer login stick. Oh, that's good. Uh, I guess I won't be able to, like... No point in even trying to get the bars open, especially with my bare hands. Hi again. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, I guess. Uh, murder! So, this murder charge. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? No, not really. Okay, just checking. Although, if you ever do want to talk... No, not about that. Okay, sorry. You know what? I don't think she... Uh... Okay, so how do I get to my inventory? Okay, it's up there. What's this button? Oh, hello! Resume, please. So I'm going to guess... To get the photograph over... Maybe I could attach it to a sheet of some kind? Yeah. Do you get duvet cover? Can I like... Uh, it'd be too bulky to throw through the bars. Wait. Wrap it in that? Okay, so I can't do that. Um, shower? Cabinet? No. Basin? Do I have to go to the toilet? That's just, that's just a waste of water, man. Um, how am I supposed to get that there? Oh, um, what happens in the bed? It's not bedtime. Okay, so I could, I don't know what this does, but I could put the login stick in the computer. Now then, I'll just slot this in here and we're in. Let's see, a few notifications here. Let's have a look. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's go through all these. Why not? Alarm text next Tuesday. Alarm test next Tuesday. Attention all inmates, please note that there will be a test in the prison alarm systems this coming Tuesday. The alarm will sound for approximately one minute. Please do not attempt to leave your cell and do not submit a ticket to the guard unless the alarm sound continues. Well, let's hope it's not some ludicrous hour in the morning. Not what the not that time means too much down here. Uh, I guess I don't, well, this might be important. You never know. Uh, da -da -da -da. Please note, it is not a, permitted to attempt to tamper with your corridors, environmental control unit. We recently have been made aware of inmates' attempt to manipulate their corridor system using lawn instruments to push buttons on the panel. Doing so is dangerous and against... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, busting instruments. Da -da -da -da. No. Probably not a good idea. Uh, change to evening meal time. Between 7 and 8 rather than the later time. Okay. Uh, that'll do. So far, I don't want to sit down right now. Television. Hmm. Am I missing something here? Is there something else I can see? Is there like a... So, wait, I just went to that. No! I'm good. So is there anything else? Hmm. And this book does nothing? I don't really know how I could get... Throw it over there? No. Can I go like that? Can I just show it through? Huh. Can I th show it to Alice? I'm very confused. Try to get out, please. Huh. I feel like I should have known this, but I should have figured this out. It can't be that hard. And the duvet covers the same thing. What if I have to put the spare sheet? Get that. Oh. Oh, I've tied them together. Can I, like, throw it across? Did I just do that? There we go. And then put the photograph into the... on the sheet. Seems needless. Unnecessary. Just to get a picture. Sorry. Got it. I should have been talking. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. This photo. Wow. Your partner is beautiful. And your daughter is so adorable. That was taken a while ago now, obviously. Things had started to get bad, but, well, we were together. You, were, We were happy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we had our ups and downs as a family. I suppose that's always the way, though. My wife and I were separated now. Happened shortly before I came here. We parted on okay terms, but I have no idea where she is now. Or even if she is, I suppose. A lot's changed, but some things stay the same. Families feud, but they come together when the going gets tough. They always seem to have a way of doing that. That's my experience. Anyway, it's... Sniff. Hey, 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 are you okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine, sorry. I'm just being stupid. It's not stupid. This is a stressful time for you. I'm sorry for talking so much. No, 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 it's it's not that. It's just... It's nice. It, just looking at your daughter. Ah, your son? Yeah. But he's safe, right? On the outside? We went through so much together before I ended up in this fucking place. <laughs> it seems so unreal. Want to talk about it? Oh, I don't know. It's funny if you don't. It's just, well, I've done enough talking. I'm happy to lend an ear. You're sweet. Eh, I think I'm just kind of pushy. I don't know. It's blurry. I, it was a long time ago. For once, things looked to be on the up. I was so surprised. They were so stupid. I let myself believe we might be in for some good fortune for a change. What happened? We met this guy, a bit older, maybe mid-50s. He seemed nice enough, and we'd be out in the cold for days after our shelter got ransacked and... Looking bad, as it was too good to be true, but we were desperate, Barney and me. This guy, is he the one that you... that you... No, 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 not him. I fucking wish. So what happened? Well, he took us in. At first he was nice, gave us food, water, shelter, but then one day, it changed. He said he had something to show me, told me to close my eyes. I wish I never had. Next thing I know, we were in a cellar. The whole place was covered in dust and my head was killing me. Barney was crying, I still don't remember exactly what happened, but we were in there for days. It was awful. I didn't know what to do. Barney was being his usual chirpy self quickly enough. <laughs> Sounds like a good kid you've got. So what happened? Well, you don't... Oh. Well, ah! You don't need to know about all this. What are you, my therapist? <laughs> I mean, we're in prison. You might as well get chatty. I don't mind, honestly. If nothing else, it's good to hear another voice. Well, if you're sure. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! We've been trapped for a while, and one day, I just knew we had to get out. Right there and then. La 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 Shut up, Barney! I'm sick of your shit! Barney! <sighs> Barney, for God's sakes. Barney, what are you doing? Singing! Singing! Should I have that voice for Barney? Tra -la -la. No, it's not. I can hear that, Barney. Sweetheart, can you give it a rest, please? 
should be depressed, you moron. Bernie, you need to stop singing now, please. Join in, mummy. <sighs> Bernie, I really need you to stop now. Please, you're... Bernie! But, mummy, I was just playing. That's always it, isn't it? You're always just bloody playing. Oh, she's having a rough day. Mummy, you said a bad word. Sigh, I know, Barney. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Mummy? Yes, sweetheart. Are you cross with me? No, no, sweetheart. It's just... It doesn't matter. Hey, I know a good game to play. Remember the good game where we have to be really quiet? <laughs> Remember when you uh, hide in the closet for hours on an end and be really still and silent? Ah, oh, yes. Do you remember that one? Do you remember why we have to be quiet? Or the bad man will come. Exactly, that game's fun, right? Well, I think now's the time to play that game. I think I'm going to be depressed by the end of this game. Barney, be qu- Barney, be really quiet for me, okay? What the hell is all that racket? It's it's nothing, sorry. Don't make me come in there. I will, you know. I know, it's alright, I promise. You need to learn to shut him up. Come on, he's just a kid. Hey, I'm five and a half. Barney, shh. Ah, oh, ha ha ha. Oh, isn't he adorable? I've half a mind to come in there anyway just to see his face. Oh, no, no, honestly, we're fine. He was just playing, but he'll be quiet. We won't disturb you anymore. I don't think that'll work. See to it that you don't. Did I make the bad man come? Oh, Barney, it's okay. It's not, it isn't your fault. This game isn't fun anymore. I know, sweetheart, I know. Don't worry, we won't have to play for very much longer, I promise. I'll tell you what, let's find you something to play with. Shall we have a look in the big box? Okay, can I get the key? Sure. Here you go, mummy. Thank you, Barney. Saving! Camping mat. Tell you what, I think that might actually be uh, it for today. Um, just a little teaser episode. I'm pretty excited. I'm definitely going to learn how to uh, <laughs> read and talk at the same time. And maybe use a couple little different voices. But uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. Uh, please like and subscribe to see more. Have a good day. See you the next time.